Good morning, kindergartners. Welcome back to our Making Meaning Lessons. I'm so happy to see you all, and welcome to those of you who are joining us today for the first time. My name is Ms. Brandt, and I'm a kindergarten teacher right here in Seattle at Rising Star Elementary School. Go Firebirds! Taiki and I have been so excited to see your hard work all week while we've been reading nonfiction books and learning about Sydney the Harbor Seal Pup and practicing wondering or asking questions in our mind and sharing them while we read or listen to a story. We're also excited because we've seen so many kindergartners do such a great job of sharing what they learned from reading nonfiction texts. So today, we're all going to keep working on wondering and sharing what we've learned while we read a new nonfiction book together today. For today's lesson, you're going to need your extension activities and something to write with. If you don't have your extension activities, no problem. Go ahead and get any blank piece of paper and something to write with because we're going to be working together today to write and draw about what we learned and what we're wondering while we read a nonfiction book together. Okay, readers, let's get started. Today, I'm so excited to share with you a nonfiction book called A Day in the Life Sea Animals Shark. I chose this book because I am excited to learn more about sharks. One of the things that I am wondering when I look at this book, especially this cover and this picture on the cover, is I'm wondering about shark's teeth. I know that they look sharp, but I'm wondering what they use them for and why they're so sharp. Hmm. I'm seeing some kindergartners go like this, showing me that they're also wondering the same thing. Excellent. Before we start reading, it's important we practice wondering or asking some questions. Now, let's get started and see if we find out the answer to our wonderings. We're also going to be listening for new facts that we learned so we can write them down. All right, here we go, readers. What is a shark? A shark is a type of fish that lives in oceans all over the world. There are many different types of sharks. Great white sharks live in warmer waters near land. They hunt and kill other animals to eat. Wow, I can look here at the labels. Whale shark. This is a whale shark. This to me looks like a person diving in the water. Wow, the whale shark is very large compared to the person. And over here, this is a great white shark. This is the one we were just reading about. Wow, kindergartners, I just learned a new fact at the very beginning of our story. I learned that a shark is a kind of fish that lives in oceans all over the world. So that's what I'm going to write down for my first fact that I learned. On my paper, I'm going to write my name and I'm going to write what I learned. I learned, let me show you so we can do it together. I wrote Miss Brandt, and here I wrote I learned. You got it, kindergartners. We just learned that sharks live in oceans all over the world. So I learned here, I'll make sure I have my finger space, and I'm gonna write I learned sharks live in oceans. That's the first thing that I learned in our reading today. I'll make sure I have a period at the end of my sentence. 
and I'll reread my writing to make sure it makes sense. I learned sharks live in oceans. Excellent. I'm seeing so many of you do your own writing in your own words, and some of you are writing what I wrote too. That's great. Either way, we're writing down our first fact that we learned that sharks live in oceans. And if you want to add more detail, you can say all over the world. I love, and Tiggy loves too, how we see kindergartners doing their best. Some of us are drawing pictures, some of us are writing sentences. Excellent. I learned sharks live in oceans. Great. Let's keep reading to find out what else we learned. If you're not quite done with this part yet, don't worry, you can always come back to it. How do sharks swim? Hmm. A shark moves its tail from side to side to move forward. The side fins help the shark to steer. Steer means to go in the right direction. The side fins help the shark to steer. Here we have a label on the picture that shows us the side fins. And here this says tail. Check it out. Sharks have side fins and a tail. When a shark swims along, water goes into its mouth and moves over its gills. Gills take air from the water so that sharks can breathe. This here says gill slits. Sharks gills help them to breathe. Let's all take a deep breath. Ready? We breathe and sharks breathe. The gills help them breathe. That's a new fact that I just learned about sharks. So I'm gonna write that down next in my writing about reading. Gills help sharks breathe. So far I wrote, I learned sharks live in the ocean and now I will write g Ills, gills, help sharks breathe. Gills help sharks breathe. And I'll put a period at the end of that sentence. Let's reread our writing. Gills help sharks breathe. We breathe too. We have a connection. Wow, I'm so happy to see so many kindergartners writing that new fact also on their paper. Gills help sharks breathe. And I'm seeing some kindergartners draw that fact. Wonderful. Way to write and draw about what you're learning. I'm also going to draw a picture, but I'm going to wait until I read one more fact and then I'll draw my picture up here. But if you're already drawing, that's wonderful. Gills help sharks breathe. Okay, I'm going to keep reading. I know you might not be done writing, but that's okay. You can always finish up after we're done together. What do sharks eat? Sharks catch and eat other large animals such as dolphins and sea lions. They also eat smaller animals, such as turtles, crabs, and fish. A great white shark has many triangular teeth in rows in its mouth. Triangular means shaped like a triangle. A great white shark has many triangular teeth in rows in its mouth. The teeth are sharp with jagged edges to slice through bones and meat. Jagged edges means sharp and not flat. It means there's points or it's sharp. The teeth are sharp with jagged edges to slice through bones and meat. Kindergartners, remember at the beginning of our book, we were wondering about sharks' teeth.
teeth and why they were so sharp? We just learned why. Let me read that one more time. A great white shark has many triangular teeth in rows in its mouth. The teeth are sharp with jagged edges to slice through bones and meat. So I'm going to write down that I learned that sharks have sharp teeth to eat meat so they can eat the food that they need to live. So I already wrote that I learned sharks live in oceans. Gills help, help sharks breathe. And now I will write sharks have sharp, sharp teeth to eat meat. Wow, kindergartners, look at all of these facts we have learned about sharks. We're going to stop our reading there for today because we've already learned three new facts about sharks. We learned, let's reread. I learned sharks live in oceans. Gills help sharks breathe. Sharks have sharp teeth to eat meat. Wow, I'm seeing kindergartners continue to do their own writing. While we're all writing together, I'm gonna make sure that I draw my picture also like I see some of you already doing. So I wanna make sure that my picture is also about what I learned. So I learned that sharks live in oceans. So I'm gonna draw some waves here to show the ocean. And I also learned that sharks have sharp teeth. So I'm gonna do my best to show here sharks with sharp teeth. Wow, there are my sharp teeth, there's my shark. And here's the ocean. We also learned that gills help sharks breathe. So I'm gonna draw some gills to show that that's what helps a shark breathe. Now remember kindergartners, good writers, I already see you doing it, label their pictures. I'll let you go ahead and do the same while I'm doing it. Nice work, kindergartners. I wrote an O for ocean, T, -t, -t for teeth, and G, G, G for gills to help them breathe. Wow. Now, good readers also still ask themselves always, what am I still wondering? Or what do I still want to learn about this topic? I learned many things today with you about sharks, but I'm still wondering, hmm, I know sharks live in the ocean. I know they have sharp teeth to help them eat meat. And I know that the gills help them breathe. I'm wondering how many different kinds of sharks there are still, because I don't know. So I will add that. I wonder how many kinds of sharks there are. You might be like me and you're running out of room. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn to a new page to write what I wonder. If you're working in your packet or in your own piece of paper, you can just write it on the back or keep writing where you have room. Here, I'm going to write, I wonder, I wonder how many kinds of sharks there are. And I'll make sure that I put a question mark because it's a wondering and I'm asking a question. I wonder how many kinds of sharks there are. I learned some new facts 
and I still have something that I wonder. Kindergartners, great work writing what you're still wondering. I see lots of students are wondering what I'm wondering too. That's great. And I'm noticing some kindergartners are wondering what are the different kinds of fish sharks eat? And what oceans do sharks usually live in? Way to wonder many different things. Wow, kindergartners. I am so impressed with your hard work writing about reading with me today. I know some of you are still working on adding to your words and pictures about what we learned and what we're still wondering, but that's okay. You're gonna have time to finish after we finish our lesson today. So go ahead and take a pause really quick. We're going to review our two vocabulary words from our last lesson, and then you're gonna keep going with your writing or choose a new book to write about. So, very quickly, let's look. We had two vocabulary words. The first one we have is survive. Survive means to stay alive. Wow, way to remember. This bird is feeding some baby birds to help them stay alive. Let's say survive together. Ready? Survive. Let me hear you say it. Good, whisper, survive. Shout, survive. Great. All right, we're gonna add survive to our whiteboard over here. Next, our other vocabulary word is release. Release means to let someone or something go free or to let go of something. We practiced releasing an imaginary butterfly in our last lesson. And we talked about how this child is maybe releasing their dog off the leash to run. Let's say release together. Release. Now it's your turn. Good. Release means to let someone or something go free or let something go. To review today, we're going to play a game. You're going to tell me, is it survive or is it release? All right. So, sharks need to eat food so they can survive or release. So they can, you got it, so they can survive. So do we, we need to eat food to survive. When it was time for Sydney the harbor pup to go back into the ocean, the scientists in her into the water. They you got it. They released her into the water. Release. Wow, kindergartners, give me a high five. Way to know our new vocabulary words, survive and release. Now, it's your turn to keep on writing about nonfiction reading. You can continue to finish your writing about our book that we read together today, Sharks, writing what you learned and what you wondered, or you can pick a new nonfiction book from where you are if you're feeling finished with our shark writing and you can read it, practice wondering and writing what you wonder and what you learned just like we did together today. And remember, if you need a nonfiction book, you can always visit Seattle Public Schools website and pick student portal, click on the academic tools and then use Pebble Go or Tumble Books to find nonfiction books, or you can always visit Scholastic Learn at Home to find more nonfiction books as well. So, writers and readers, go ahead and get started or keep going with your shark writing. Tyke and I have had so much fun working with you this week, and we are so, so proud of all of your hard work. Keep it up. Bye.